Salutations, Proboscis2 here, and today what I have for you is a tutorial on how to partially restore player item type functionality in LEGO Batman the video game, for the PS2. LEGO Batman on 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 the PS2. The player item type system was used by Trailbear's Tales for the items you can pick up and use in LEGO Indiana Jones The Original Adventures, and has partial code for it left over in LEGO Batman the video game. This has the following limitations. Blow-up player item types, which are player item types found in levels contained inside GIZ files, will not show up using this method. Also, enemies and NPCs will not drop the items they have when killed, like they should. The last limitation is that this method will require you to replace the LEGO Batman things.gsc file with that of LEGO Indie, making it impossible for the game to load models such as batterings and tutorial icons. I found somewhat of a way around this by using the LEGO Batman things.gsc file as a separate levels override things scene file, but I wouldn't recommend doing this as it causes some of the characters that are supposed to be loaded for the level to be unloaded for whatever reason. I'm currently looking for a way to combine the contents of PS2 GSC files so I could possibly circumvent this issue. And if I could find a way to resolve this issue, as well as the first two, I will definitely create an updated tutorial, but until then, this is the best I can do. For this tutorial, you will need a few things. A hex editor, I'll be using HXD, Gidra decompiler, the Gidra Motion Engine processor extension, Dat1 archiver, and a tool for rebuilding ISOs. As you can see here, I have already extracted both of the game.dats for LEGO Indiana Jones The Original Adventures and LEGO Batman the video game. I also ported over the Grail Knight from Last Crusade in advance, as we'll be using his Grail Sword as an example item. The first thing you want to do is go into the Indie Cars folder, copy the defined locators.txt and player item types.txt files, and paste them into your Batman Cars folder if you haven't already. These files are required for player item types to work. Now open the player item types.txt file, as we'll be needing it later. Next go into Indie, Stuff, and copy the things.gsc and TER files and paste them into your LEGO Batman Stuff folder, overwriting the default ones. Now you can rebuild your archive using Dat1 Archiver, and paste the newly built Dat into your extracted ISO. While you're here, open the executable on a hex editor, then go back to playeritemtypes.txt and search for the item you want to add to the game. Now open the indie things.gsc and do a search for the item's name. Take note of the length of the name and hex towards the bottom of the screen. Go back to the executable and do a search for bad with two A's. It will take you to a part of the executable with several unused strings relating to LED files that are used in other Traveler's Tales games, but not LEGO Batman. These strings can be found repeated several times throughout the executable, and are what we are going to be overwriting in order to add our player item types to the game. Select the bytes of the bad food string that add up to the length of your player item type in hex, and paste it over it in the text column. Then go to the hex column and overwrite the rest of the overwritten string's bytes with zeros. Now save and exit the executable.
Now in Gidra, load the newly edited executable we just created, and analyze it. I will cut back to the video when it's done analyzing. It's the penis man! 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 You're just a man made of a penis. 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 Once Gidra is done analyzing, click the save icon so we never have to analyze the executable again. Now do a search for the name of the player item type we put in the executable. Copy the address in RAM that the string occupies. It will be important later. Now do a search for mini underscore kit underscore pickup, and it will take you to a section of the executable where the names of other models stored inside things.gsc are defined. Make a new text file and paste the address we copied earlier into it for later. Now go back into your hex editor and do a hex search for the address and RAM for the minikit pickup string in Big Indian. And it will take you to another part of the executable that lists all of the addresses for the strings containing the names of models stored inside things.gsc. You will notice many blank spaces between many of the string references. This is where we'll be inserting a reference to our custom string. And that's it. Delete the backup file created, and I will see you over on the game. Back over there! It's Wade the Wallaby over there on the Pop Culture Spotlight! Alright, so here we are on the game. I am uh, not recording my voice as I'm playing the game. This footage was pre-recorded. But yeah, the sword works. You can aim and throw it at stuff. You can aim and throw it at enemies, too. I don't know why he's getting stuck when he tries hitting people with the sword directly, but yeah, there you go. And the other characters can pick it up, if that's what I'm going to do, maybe not. Um, I'm sure I will eventually. Yeah, 
obviously, uh, obviously I didn't do something properly with his animations, and that's why he's freezing. <sighs> I just finished most of the video. This is the only part that, yeah, see, he picks it up, and he doesn't have an animation, so it, he just, he's defective. But he can throw it. That's pretty much all for the day, though, guys. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Having sex with a woman on top is like trying to shit in the toilet that's bolted to the ceiling. If someone gets too near to your private parts, say no loud and clear. That's being smart. <laughs>